I don't know if you've heard all that commotion, but uh, I'm doing a bit of mechanics and I am um, fitting this mirror protector to this mirror here on the lorry. Alright, alright. I don't do much mechanics, as you may see, but my father, my father, is very mechanically minded. This is the reality of doing of doing mechanics, yeah? So I need to get this and I need I need to get something else to hold it up. Let's try this. They're a bit thinner, aren't they? They're a, I wasn't on the volley yesterday, so I was at the tip. Not the tip, I was putting in some scrap metal yesterday. Uh, I thought the money would be better, but um we did one load which was just normal metal, like steel and that. Then we did a second load which was all batteries and lead. And that come up pretty expensive, the batteries and lead did. I'm, I know I'm doing this like a complete inbred, yeah. At this sort of thing, I'm not. Right, right, use the spanner. We're not going to tighten it up and up without. Use the spanner or the ratchet. Oh, I need to use the ratchet. As you heard him. I know this was painful to watch, but I got a I got a ratchet here now. Oh, got a ten mil here, yeah. Got a ratchet. Slip it in. There you go. Look how easy that is now. <laughs> Come on. That was a practice one, right? So, I do have mechanic skills. I do have skills, but I just wasn't showing them then. You've got no idea how hard this was. We had to drill more holes, then more holes, then more holes. But the boss said it's alright, the air will pass through it. Back at work, next day. Hasn't even broke dawn yet. Cement bin adequ adequately full. Mirror protector we fitted yesterday looking good. With the holes in for the aerodynamics. Got a pretty late start today, but the first job is in the hometown. First drive with the the protector, the mirror protector. Let's see how it is. It's absolutely massive though. But that's what a mirror protector is. I reckon we'll hit more trees than, than we did last time, but it obviously wouldn't crack the mirror this time. No pump today, they got their own shoe. Those gloves, they make your hands reek, absolutely reek of cheese. I don't know what it is, I think it's all the bacteria in it. Sat here waiting at the next job now, I'm waiting for him to get all the water out his footing because it was 
we've had a few rainy days so he's obviously getting the water out so he can pour the concrete he wants it a little bit drier in this job i did the footing with the concrete pump so this mate he's got us again for the oversight which is good Pouring the concrete now, not much to look at. Just come back from a jacket potato for my supper. It's surprising how much it fills you up. I love jacket potato. So nice. But um now I'll sink a few of these. And on a serious note though, let me know what I can do to improve my YouTube videos. Let me know what you want to see at work as well. Let me know just what you want to see in general because I obviously go to the gym. Do you want to see how I train in my home gym? Because at the moment I'm in my home gym. There's another gym where I live that I might go to in my hometown. Um, that's a pretty much of a meat, pretty much a meathead gym which I used to go to, um, but I had to get the bus. And there's one in my hometown anyway, so I'm going to give that. Uh, I'm gonna give that a go in about a week or so. So I'm gonna, I'm thinking about putting another YouTube video on my, on how I train in my home gym and some fitness content. So let me know what you wanna see, brethren. All right, and I'll see you in the next one, my driller. Front, this is out there. You will know what it's like to go to work five days a week, may, sometimes the weekend, and be absolutely knackered at half five when you get home from work. Because I'm editing this video now, yeah? I am knackered. I could go to bed already. So that's, this is the reality of work. So, you know what I'm at? But yeah. Because I'm a new apprentice now, so I need to get used to it. I need to get used to the grind. Which, because with school, you get everything handed to you on a plate. Yeah. And now, I'm in the big, bad world. Yeah. And nothing gets handed to me. No one cares what you do. So you have to live to your own fulfilment and joy. Peace out for the second time. Cheers.